So, with the new Snapdragon Elite X, Windows 11 laptops with Copilot Plus coming in about two or three weeks' time, how will the likes of the M4 MacBooks or even the M3 MacBooks be able to compare in functions into these new rival Windows machines? Well, today I'm going to compare on which device is most likely to win at this stage in early June time. So, the first thing I'm going to say is I'm not going to be comparing, saying, the Elite X to the M4 chipset in benchmark performance and things like this. And in fact, I've already done this in another video, so if you want to check that out, then it's just above me right now. But what we are going to do is show how good the user experience is with AI abilities in everything that we know so far. So I'm talking about macOS Sonoma OS right at this moment. With the AI abilities that are built into this operating system or the lack of AI abilities in this operating system. And the same with iPad OS 2 inside of the iPads. And I'm going to compare this to the likes of Windows 11 on a Snapdragon laptop. So the Surface laptop. And we're also going to compare it to the Surface Pro to the iPads as well. But moving on from this, let's next of all talk about the features that we get in the new Windows 11 with Copilot Plus and comparing that to Mac OS if they've got anything similar along the same lines using AI features for day-to-day -day abilities. So let's have a look here then. So one of the main features that really shone for Microsoft and it must say it's absolutely incredible and um, this is the new recall feature. In summary what is happening is your laptop or surface device is taking a picture every five seconds of what you are looking at and then let's say you look at a website a week ago and let's say you wanted to find that website today you can't remember what that website name was called but you do remember there was like a picture standing out on that web page. You could search for that picture and what will happen is recall will actually go through history and find that picture and find the website and then with that you can open up that website and that's absolutely amazing you can even do this for files or for pictures in other apps and things like this and then you can open up those files and that is brilliant I must say the great thing is too is that you can configure this any way you want it so what I mean like by this is that you can actually sort of filter out apps or web addresses that you don't want any images taken pictures of and you can even sort of allocate how much storage that you want for this feature and also how often you want a picture to be taken a screenshot to be taken on your windows laptop but in comparison right now with mac os with its built-in features there isn't really anything like that built into it of course we do have spotlight right now and you can search for files and things like this but this is probably the closest that you get to it and then the only other thing we do have is time machine backups which just backs up your files and you can pull back a file from ages ago but you'd have to remember what that file was called and what's inside of it but like I said I don't think this is a full like for like comparison but it looks like though in sort of operating system wise, Windows goes even further with its Copilot app 2 compared to the likes of say Siri right now. So for example, you could paint a picture in paint and Copilot AI can actually make the picture better or more realistic and you can actually set the level of how far you want this picture to look more realistic. Then something what is crazy is like this demonstration that was shown by Microsoft that you can actually play like a game of Minecraft and have Copilot running in the background and you can actually ask it for help throughout the game and it actually sounds like you're actually talking to someone naturally. What I think though is crazy is that over all these years Apple have boasted about having a newer engine inside of their chipsets. This has come around since about the A12. So this was years ago and obviously all the M series have got a newer engine and things like this but the actual main operating system, I'm not talking about pro apps, hasn't really utilized this neural engine fully to its abilities. You know, I can't really think, apart from maybe a slight bit of picture enhancements when you take photos, there isn't really anything what actually this neural engine is doing inside of the operating system with machine learning and AI abilities that can actually fully help the user on day-to-day -day uses, like what Windows are offering right now at this moment in time. It just seems like there's a complete lack of AI abilities and Siri, for example, it feels as robotic as when it came out back in 2011 and it just feels left behind. 
Now, don't get me wrong, the new engine or that machine learning is brilliant for, like I said, for a lot of pro apps. Final Cut Pro, Logic Pro, the Adobe Suite, and so many other apps do use this new engine. And it's really, really good for pro users to use this. But for the majority of people who are not going to be using pro apps and just using, say, Mac OS or iPad OS or iOS on day-to-day -day lives for sort of daily kind of apps and things like this, there isn't really anything being utilized here with that neural engine and it seems like I say again that Windows are actually helping users here, pro users and normal users at the same time. But there might be an answer and I'm going to talk about that in just a moment. But what I want to quickly talk about is the giveaway we're doing on this channel and it is for this. This here is an M3 MacBook Pro and this one actually has been spec'd up to have 16 gigabytes of RAM, 512 gigabytes of storage inside of it and I'm going to be giving this away at the end of June time. So that's right guys, this is the end of June giveaway that we are doing on this channel and it's coming up very, very soon. And all you have to do to enter into it is just put down in the comments below for technology or Apple technology you'll think of getting in 2024 and also at the same time too is make sure you are a subscriber on this channel because I'm going to be giving this away to one lucky subscriber so make sure you do that right now by pressing the subscribe button and also hitting that notification bell and another big reason why you should do that is because I'm going to be alerting you or telling you guys near the end of June time when I'm going to be doing the live stream for this giveaway and you won't want to miss out on that so make sure you do that right now and in that announcement now I will say there will be a little form to fill in and things like this but yeah all the details will be coming near the end of June time but one thing I just want to also say to guys about this international giveaway sadly there's still lots of scammers and spammers out there people still impersonating me telling you to whatsapp telegram and all this bad stuff like that please do ignore them or better still as you can see right here please do report them now, like I said, guys, there is a big buck coming along very soon with Apple. And I'll talk about that in a second. But one thing I will say is, I just want to say I'm not biased to any technology. I love Apple technology, but I also love Android technology. I also love Windows. I also love Nintendo. I love Sony. I love Xbox. I'm a fan of technology. I'm not just loving Apple and Apple only. I love to see what the whole competition gives us out there. And this is one thing I'm going to say that if I am sounding like Windows is in for the win here, well, like I said, right now, in my opinion, I would say that Windows is winning the game at the second because for the standard kind of user and also for the pro users, they are giving you lots of tools that are using AI abilities in their operating system. And in fact, soon into the future, they're going to be bringing out even more abilities. Things like you'll be able to do AI abilities in settings for example and Apple just don't offer this in Mac OS whatsoever at the moment so yeah it's quite interesting to see that I would say in features wise and functionality on day-to-day -day basis in helpfulness I would actually say Windows at this second in time of making this video looks like it's going to win but like I said there is a but and it is a big but as you can see right here, we have WWDC 2024 starting on June 10th. And as you can see by all of these leaks and rumors going around, it looks like it's going to be crammed with AI features to go into iOS, iPadOS, watchOS, macOS, and we'll be able to test out some of the first betas of this in June time. And this is super exciting to see. This, I believe, is the chance for Apple to catch up here in AI abilities that are just native in their operating system. Not just boasting about other kind of pro apps that can use their newer engine AI abilities in those apps. This is just for their operating system. And I think this is their big chance to do this. And if they miss out here, I do believe that Windows could start to gain traction here into that market and actually start overtaking. People might start to switch. I'm not saying that you person out there watching right now are going to switch, but I'm going to say there could be some people that are going to switch because you're going to be getting all of those AI features just on the equivalent of a Snapdragon X Plus, what's the equivalent of say like an M3 MacBook Air in sort of chipsets and comparisons in here, it's the best comparison we can do, and you're getting all of those features inside of it on day one, what is absolutely incredible. And I think Apple really, really need to push out here on its AI abilities, especially 
that ever since say the A12 when that came out, this I think was 2018, that there is a lot of devices out there that could fully utilize AI abilities going forwards. And I really am excited to see what's going to be happening because we have these new abilities and we also have the new Snapdragon laptops all coming out in June time. So WWDC in June time and we also have these new laptops too. So it's going to be a really exciting month to see what the future is going to look like for Windows and also for Apple too. But those are my thoughts there. What are your thoughts behind this? Do you think Apple have time to catch up here and do you think they will catch up? What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And also guys, if you want to hear the latest Apple news, reviews and comparisons, please also make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell too. And if you've also enjoyed watching this video, I'd also appreciate a like. And with that guys, I'll see you really soon. Take care. Bye bye.